Hey everybody, I'm B. Jermaine, aka the Terrible Australian of Supermarcy.com, and welcome to my video review of New Zealand director Takai Wahidi's latest film, The Hunt for the Wild of People. So let's get right into it. Now, Takai Wahidi is definitely a director who I actually have grown to really like over the years, because I know that he, I, to be honest, I wasn't really a big fan of his very first feature length film, uh, Eagle vs. Shark. To be honest, that was kind of one of those kind of quirky comedies that I actually really did not like at all. But he sort of, uh, films that he made after that, like the comedy drama Boy, and of course the horror comedy, uh, What We Did in the Shadows, really won me over. I thought those, both those films were great films. And I was really excited for his latest film, The Hunt for the World of People. So, and I have to say, uh, this film, The Hunt for the World of People, in my opinion, might actually, is his best work so far as a director. It pretty much has all the hallmarks that, that we have seen uh, in his other previous films in the past, all of that quirky humour, that sort of uh, New Zealand sense of humour, and the sort of the heart, and a bit of the sort of the darker aspects, but also a bit of drama, but at the same time, just delivering a film that's both hugely entertaining and really funny, and the Hunt for the World of, Hunt for the World of People is definitely the best sort of combination of all those aspects that we have seen of him over his career so far as a director. And in a lot of ways, it's kind of, in a way, his, even though his other previous films like Boy and uh, What We Did in the Shadows ha definitely had some mainstream appeal about them, but they was, but Hunt for the World of People, I would say is probably his even, his most mainstream work, because there's a lot here I think a lot of people would love. Uh, it's, it's really funny, it's a lot of fun, and it also has a bit of an edge to it as well, that sort of makes it sort of, give it a bit more, that makes it stand out more amongst the sort of family films that are out there at the moment. Because at the same time, as much as it is a really funny and entertaining film, it does have sort of some slight darker aspects. Not dark, like, like depressing or anything like that, but just enough in a way that sort of gives it a bit more of an edge as a family film. And also, and also it has a bit of drama in that as well. Like, it's a film that has a sort of has a different kind of combination of different genres in it. Like I said, comedy, dr bit of drama, bit of action, a uh, bit of adventure, and family as a uh, family film as well. And, and it just works so well together as a film. And because it, it's... Takai Wahidi also read the script of the film as well. So he just... And he nailed it. Like, it is a really great script. And, but to me, one of the main aspects, but other than the sort of Takai Wahidi's uh, direction and writing, which are both top-notch here, is, of course, the, two, the lead performances of the film's main characters, played by Sam Neill and Julian Dennison. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, they're both great. Like, they're both sort of very stark and very different type of performances, but they have really great chemistry together, and they just pretty much just are a great combo every time they're on screen, and you just can't help but sort of really enjoy their performances. Particularly Sam Neill, who kind of just doesn't like uh, the character that uh, Julian Dennison plays, uh, Ricky Baker. But as sort of the film goes along, you can sort of see the friendship develop between them, and in a way that he grows to really like this kid. And also... Uh, Julian Dennis's role as Ricky, he sort of goes through his own arc as well, being sort of a very troubled kid who, in a way, kind of learns a lot of things as the story goes on, which I won't spoil, of course. But I, I just think it's just a really fun, really great film that that just... that I think if you love Taikai Wahidi's previous films, you're definitely going to love this one as well. I, I just think it just works extremely well. And it's... a it's an almost perfect comedy. Like, it does have its little flaws here and there, and sometimes, you know, with all the kind of, uh, sort of shifts in tone that happens during the course of the film, like being a funny one minute or being a bit, bit, a bit more serious the next, it does sort of feel a bit jarring as a whole, but, but, it, but it still works in really well, and it's, and to me, and, and I, I just thought it was just a great, fun time, and that's got some great performances, and besides uh, Sam Neill and Julian Dennison, the supporting cast are also really good as well, and they all deliver in their roles as well, but overall, yeah, it's just a really fun film that's both equally funny, touching, and 
it, this is def like I said before, this is definitely Takai Wahibi's best work so far. And I kind of, and also watching this film, particularly with the last half, you can definitely see why uh, Marvel tapped him to direct for Ragnarok. Because, like I said, this is definitely his biggest film that he's made so far. Not just mainstream appeal, but just in scope. Because there's a little bit more, especially in the last half of the film, where there's a bit of sort of an action and car chases and stuff like that. Um, you can definitely see why Marvel picked him, because he knows how to sort of balance that sort of fun, humorous side, along with sort of this kind of, you know, touching, kind of serious moments as well. But it... it so, I'm really excited to see what he does with Thor Ragnarok, because just after watching this film, it definitely showed... I have a lot of faith that he's going to knock Thor Ragnarok out of the park. But, but overall, Hunt for the Wilder People... I highly recommend this film. If you ha if you like, like I said, if you like Takai, sorry, Takai Wahidi's previous films, you're definitely going to enjoy this one as well. I, it's great fun. And so if I do rate this film, I give it four and a half stars. It's really worth checking out and I highly recommend it. So yep, that's the end of my video review of The Hunt for the Wilder People. I hope you guys all enjoyed it and I'll see you all later. See you everyone. Bye.